Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a guide on Santa Claus. No, not the fat man that brings gifts to everyone through the chimney. The skinny green man that does the same thing but has other skinny green men called workshop elves protecting him. So, how strong is he? He's pretty strong. So firstly, I recommend you ready up with Totems of Undying. I usually bring at least 10 with me. This one's not a Totem of Undying, this is a Berserker Charm. What does it do? Whenever you hit something with it, uh, I have no test subject, and I do not want to hit my villagers. When, uh, on hit, it gives you blindness and haste. So it's pretty good for, for axe grinding, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, I usually bring 10 totems of undying with me, or more, sometimes. I wouldn't recommend bringing more than 10. So what does Santa drop? From my knowledge, Santa drops one of the, usually one of these swords, the Naughty Lister. He's a level 75 boss, just like every single other elf. And, fun fact, you can also kill his wife. So he has, he's currently hiding in the North Pole. And I do recommend you bring some gapples with you, because if you do get hit, you might want to regen. First mob you're gonna see, well that's practically also the only mob you're gonna see, the Workshop Elf. They're level 75 and they do way too much damage, but you can still kite them out, like so. Too slow. And they drop pretty respectable gear. And 74 elite coins each. But, if you're only here for Santa, just ignore every single one of them. You might get hit a few times, but it should be worth it. Oh, that's the junk I dropped off from last time. Ignore, 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 leave everyone and... There he is! Hello, Santa! Don't worry, I only killed two of your employees this time. Just like the lightning boss, whenever he stands still, move. He also spawns... Uh, um, elves, occasionally. Yeah, you can, uh, the best strategy you can use is to kite him around a pillar, just like uh, just like I did. You can kite him both ways, so you don't have to worry about that. He's nearly dead, just one more of these. Those, today I learned those things. Youch, I got a naughty lister. Hold on, um... Santa, your employee just assaulted me. Anyway... Oh, this one's garbage. Only... It only has sharpness 5 on it. Oh, if you do want to kill them, many of these are free kills. There's also some bug, I'll probably tell... Oh wait, he, DJ's on. Yeah, it's a bug, you'll probably see it uh, in the video. So that's pretty much for everything you do in the North Pole, except that we still haven't killed Santa's wife. I'm just doing this for the loot. Um, I do not have any spit. Yeah, they dropped some free. Oh. Well, that sucks. This is what happens. They dropped quite a few enchanted gapples. They stack up over time, making them pretty easy to get. 
The only bad thing is that they're literally soul bound. Why would you drop food that's soul bound to someone? Okay, back to the Santa fa back to the Claus family. There's direct, indirect, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Hello DJ, hello DK. Just a quick reminder, you go you go straight up the stairs, ignore everything. Unless you wanna kill them for loot, that's also good. You saw nothing. Good boy. You also saw nothing. Just a Whoa. Excuse me. Don't mind. Just get out of my way and I will not kill you. He got in my way. I couldn't I could not not kill him. So, back to finding Mrs. Claus. She's quite literally at the end of the entire thing. And enchanted apples give resistance, so you you can eat those if you if you want to. You kill her essentially just like you killed Santa. And she drops similar loot. Friendly fire! Santa, your wife's a savage. Oh, also, I did not realize that these things have less less health than normal ones. See, that's a real sword. Unlike yours, Santa. Yeah, back to the main thing. There's one more boss that I want to talk about, if it respawns. And if it hasn't respawned yet, tough luck. It has. It has respawned. If you have enough, if you have level 40 plus gear, then you should be fine. Why did D, why did DJ say that this, this thing has two, that's 24 drops? I killed it quite a few times that it did not even get a single drop. Yeah, Delahan's loot is rather garbage. So that's pretty much it for the for the important bosses. There's still one boss I'm trying to find them. The, there's the Drowned King. But look at my gear. It's only level 56, 60, 56, and 70. I need more than just that. Or um, or it's over level 70 if uh, I get to I use these boots. But I want I want to use this chestplate because it gives strength. I should probably use the Elephant Charm instead. Not gonna lie, but. I don't have any. I don't have a. I don't have a better chest plate. It gives strength, strength one, but the elephant charm gives strength two and slowness four. So if I do end up countering the slowness effect while with jumping, without dying, I mean, I should be good to go. So that's pretty much it, you just kite Santa around the pillar and you kill his goons. There's nothing there's nothing difficult about that. But you have you absolutely have to dodge his armor shred ability. His and Mrs. Claus. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.